while we await our co-main event of the evening, we'd like to remind you once again of our gracious sponsors for Cage Glory Championship 2, unbelievable, Ventec Pro, MMA TV, Deliver For You, Transport and Removal, Capitanios Hotels, Cablenet, Ocean Basket, and Cask.pro. Don't forget as well to check out CGC on all our social media channels. You'll find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm a bit too old for TikTok, Rob. I don't know <laughs> anything about that. Maybe CGC has a TikTok. Who knows? But do check us out on all our social channels there. You'll see updates for all our future events. And, you know, looking back to CGC 1, Comparing it to what we've seen here tonight, CGC2, leaps and bounds have been made. So it looks to be a promotional and upward trajectory and, you know, bringing MMA to Cyprus. What a great way to come and spend the holiday. If you're an MMA fan, get yourself over to Cyprus, have a few weeks in the sun here in Limassol, and then come and see some great fights. That's right. The guys here at CGC, as you said, doing a great job in building the sport over here. And of course, this is home to a couple of MMA gyms, giving fighters throughout Europe and also locally the opportunity to compete on a very big stage. Nothing like a bit of the Godfather to give you goosebumps. As we said, this very much the anticipated debut, Joanna Christoffi. And as you can hear, the local support. It was an offer they couldn't refuse, you might say. <laughs> I'm here all day. <laughs> Michael Naki, just 20 years of age, 2 and 1 as a professional, 1 and 0 as an amateur in mixed martial arts, made a pro debut back in 2018, and the amateur fight was the previous year, 2017. She also got pro grappling experience and kickboxing fights as well. So, again, don't be fooled by the novice record here. This is a lady who knows her way around the fight. And, you know, considering the reception that we've just heard, for Joanna Christoffi and, and the reception she got yesterday at the weigh-ins, Rob, the, the public weigh-ins that we had at the hotel, she didn't look at all phased during the face-off. And, and, you know, that's that's a big deal when you're coming in against the hometown favourite. If you can stand face-to-face -face with that person, look them dead in the eye and say, look, I'm not afraid. I don't care you've got all these fans in here. I don't care that you're the hometown star. You know, that that's uh, that's a big boon for the confidence of Eleni Maitilnaki. Yeah, speaking about confidence as well, Michael Naki's last pro MMA fight was against uh, Cindy the Battle Cat Dandwa, who at the time of the fight had a 15 and 5 record and they competed for years all over the world at the highest level. So for her to take that fight at just a, a 1 and 1 record, 
You know, that shows huge cojones in my book. And she took that fight to round two as well. Five minute rounds in the women's bantamweight division. Joanna Christoffi with the blue trim on her gloves. A slightly taller fighter, Eleni Maitonaki, with the red trim on her gloves. Looking for the head kick early there was Joanna Christoffi. And it's Maitonaki initiating the clinch. We thought maybe that Christoffi would be looking to close the distance, but. Yeah, Matuneki just keeping it cage side, firing those knees. Joanna looking to get the standing choke, didn't quite get it, but lands in man position. Good work by Lenny to pull back the half guard, but Joanna looking to ground and pound. Yeah, Matuneki looking for a sacrifice throw, it didn't work. She's taking some big shots, going for the knee bar here though. She's looking to lace that leg up. Doing a good job, she gets it. Christophe needs to be careful though, she's got to clear that knee and she has. She needs to be careful with a heel hook here. She pulled that leg through. Yeah, I think she's going to be safe here. There's not a whole lot on that unless she can get a, a, a pivot on that ankle. It's, it's, it's an odd angle here. Very flexible is Matil Naki. Yeah, she needs to get that leg free or look to pivot as she's setting in the choke. She looks to climb over, she's in making the mount position, doesn't quite get there. Half guard, top position. She's trying to cinch off that head and arm choke here. Referee taking a very close look at this. Steps over into full mount and it's almost like a, a three-quarters rear naked choke. And now she's on the back, flattening her opponent out. Christoffi in a terrible position here. And the fans roaring, tap tap, Joanna Christoffi on. And Michael Naki just showing absolute guts here to uh, tough this one out. As you said, Brad, she's got a grappling pedigree. She'll be experienced in bad positions and bad submission positions. And she's out of danger here for the time being as she retains. Girl goes for the body triangle. Looks to go for her own guillotine. Very difficult to get from that position. Maybe just she, trying to use it to sweep here. Christophe needs to clear the head. She does so. Great stuff from Christophe here. Beautiful defensively from Eleni as well. She looked to be in real trouble, but was able to work her way free. And we've seen it before, Brad, you've got to wonder, will the muscular physique of uh, Joanna play its part later in the rounds when the oxygen starts to go and she starts to breathe a little bit heavier? We've already seen her put on a, a big squeeze here. Let's see what she can do. I mean, there's over 90 seconds of the round left to play with. Head in the centre of the chest. Body triangle from Eleni. I think you're right, Eleni looking to get that sweep with a body triangle. Just trying to 
control the leg to get it. Let's see if she can launch a few short elbow. I mean, there's a forearm choke here, but very, very rare that you see that these days in MMA. Let's see if Christophe can get some ground and pound going. She's got a minute left to play within this first round. And then he locking up the arms, switches on her hips, brings the legs up high, looks for that arm bar, is tight, she doesn't get it. Joanna pulls out, and now Eleni's in mount position. Joanna in trouble as the elbows rain down. Big elbows here, and Christoffi looking tired. Covers up, Eleni fires away, Christoffi tries to escape and gets out the back door. Oh, the crowd goes And the arm the bar's there, the and she taps! Wow! Wow! Eleni Matilnaki with a come from behind armbar. Wow! And that's always the danger, Rob, when you're coming out of the back door like that, leaving that arm in. Absolutely sublime jiu-jitsu from the young lady from Athens, Greece. And we spoke about the pedigree. She looked for a knee bar, she looked for heels, she looked for ankles. But Joanna Christophe looks exhausted. Took the words right out of my mouth, Rob. And a, a brave effort, but I, as you say, she is completely wiped here. And there was some intense grappling exchanges, and that was a big hyperextension on the elbow there. I mean, that you know, was. If, if, if you're not tapping to that, you, you know, you, you, you need a talking to. Oh, it was a beautiful armbar to set up the movement. Wow. It has to be said, I'm looking forward to seeing Eleni return. I mean, look, when you, you know, when you've got the guts to go in against someone like Cindy Dandwa with 20 plus pro fights experience in just your third professional contest, you know there's something special in here. You know, we talked about it before, you can't teach guts and heart and you don't need to with Eleni Maitonaki, she's got it in, the, in spades. Everything else she can work with in the gym, everything else she can be taught, she can improve on, and at just 20 years of age, the sky looks to be the limit. But let's not write off Joanna Christoffi here as well. 23 years of age herself, going in against clearly a very, very talented fighter, and showing some good moments in there herself. She had a couple of big squeezes early on. That's right, working for the choke. Didn't quite get it, and again, the submission skill set of Eleni enabled her to escape the choke. And for moments, they did look deep, Brad. Christoffi yeah. putting on a real squeeze. And you can see Christoffi, I think, is devastated. Yeah, you know, hopefully the arm is okay, and it's, you know, a bit more a case of wounded pride than anything else.